Okay, somebody asked me to uh, go into footwork, and uh, it's very difficult to show footwork on um, on this video camera type setting, is the way I got it all set it up here. So uh, I'm going to try my best, uh, and it's just going to be basic stuff just because I'm very limited in this scenario. So first, um, I'm going to use a shorter stick because it's easier to demonstrate with and fit in the camera. As you can see, it's going to be... This is your. This one is your standard, and it's going to be this much shorter. Okay. Okay. First things first. Let's go into basic stance. I think I've mentioned it before, covered it in another video, but it's good stuff. So, do it again. Okay. The hand that's holding your tool. Okay. That side of your body is in the front. Okay. So my leg. That leg, that, that same side, is completely to the front. And I, expl I explained it before, that it, the reason is because it's much easier to defend uh, both angles, which means this way, so I can, I can defend like so, and also this way, and I can defend like so, especially the leg shot. That's, that's what I'm really concerned about. So I can, I can easily come down hard both ways. Whereas to, if I'm twisted, so I keep that side in the front and hold the tool on the opposite hand, it makes it a, a little bit more awkward, especially when going across like this, I have to twist my body. And uh, in a lot of martial arts, we don't like to twist the body, we like to keep everything together. So that's the first thing, please remember that. Okay, the next thing is you need to know your heaven six. So please look in another video. It, you know, it's covered a lot. It's pretty popular all over the net. Uh, so a lot of people know it. So please make sure you get that down. So for right now, uh, keep the stance that I just showed you in the back of your mind. But we're not going to use it right now. Okay. So just stand square. Okay. And go into your heaven six. We're going to divide it into instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to divide it into one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So it'll be one, two, three, and we're going to start over. It'll be one, two, and three, okay? So just do it like that for right now and make sure you get that. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so the next step, what you're going to do is every time you do one, okay, your body is gonna rotate. That's that's all it is. So, uh, like like if I'm throwing a, a punch, okay. So my body is gonna rotate like this, and I'm just twisting. I know you can't see it, but I'm just twisting my feet. So I'm on I'm on the balls of my feet like this, and I'm just turning and turning. That so that's all you're doing. Every time you do number one, you're turning and turning just like that. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be one. You see, I turned two and three, and then I'm going to do one again. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. So the next step, what you're going to do, is every time you go into one, instead of just turning, what you're going to do is you're going to take this step. So you're actually going to move diagonally in that direction. So it's going to be one, two, and when you go to number three, you're going to take a step back and come back to your starting position. And like I said, every time you go back to one, you're going to take that step forward, two, and, and for three you come back. So every time you go one, it's, it's not straight forward, okay? It's diagonally forward. I think most good attacks and counters are not straight on because because they're coming straight in you come straight in that's a head-on collision so you'll be off target but you're you're still going to tag them so that's why we go we take these kinds of steps like this like that okay so some people and in some styles what they like to do is they like to get two sticks like this put it on the ground like this and it forms a diagonal path for you to follow so you will follow this way so you have, you'll move like this and for this side you'll go that way. So that's why they put this down on the ground. You could, you could do that, okay, but the main thing, like I said, is every time you go one, you take that diagonal step, one step, two, and for three, just come back to your starting position. One, same thing, 
take that diagonal step, two, and for three, come back. So practice that, please. Okay, so the main concept of what we're trying to do, okay, um, because when you run or walk, you're just going to run and walk. We, we don't want to be thinking, I take this step and I want to do it like this and, and whatnot. It should all be very, very natural. So first we're going through unnatural movement in order to come back to being natural. Okay, so the main thing is this. As we take that step forward and come in here, okay, um, we're striking and moving at the same time. So we're very efficient. That's, what, that's exactly what we want to do. To strike and move at the same time and you see I'm, I'm making a turn this way and as I'm making that turn there's that defensive swipe in case they because I'm very close to them now and it would be foolish for me to think that they won't attack me back they won't try to grab me back okay so I have that defensive and then I have I can continue on with my strikes but at this point I'm at I'm at their um, side point okay or almost entering into their back so as I'm moving, boom, boom, you see, I, I come out this way to their side. So I went diagonal and then I turned, I rotated. So that's how you would make this more uh, realistic because in the drill before that, all you did was went diagonal and then came back, went diagonal and then came back. That's all you did. But in a real situation, you would follow up. You would keep rotating, you know, just like how a boxer or a kickboxer would keep rotating. To, to that side to keep themselves safe and keep um, keep them vulnerable okay so that that's exactly the same idea okay um, so for a quick bonus video for those of you that don't have those kinds of sticks you can use um, like a butter knife use a pen you could even do it empty-handed it's not it's not a problem you know or you can use hangers <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy this check it out So you can easily get some training in.